What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're on my way to my unit about to drop off the party box in the back because that's what I used to listen to music at my unit it was my son's birthday yesterday birthday party so I used it and good news the blue Vauxhall Corsa has sold I think within three days of listing it the car sold which is absolutely great and yeah for everyone in the comments hating about the bloody Corsa like What's there to hate about? Saying that someone said that um, they saw that I priced it for too much or something. They, they think anyway. Um, so I'm pricing it for. I put it up for one six fifty, one one six hundred. Um, it was it was originally one six fifty, and I put it up, put it down to one six hundred, and the car sold within three days. And there's two guys in the comments that were hating hating saying that are. Oh, one for, oh, I seen the car advertised on Facebook Marketplace and oh, saying that I'm advertising it for too much. They normally go for this and basically saying that oh, nobody's going to buy the car. Some other guy said, oh yeah, the car's probably going to be sat there for like six months or something. Well, unfortunately to you, the car wasn't sat for those six months. It sold in three days, so maybe we need to stop hating, bro. But also, other good news as well, guys. The other good news is that the steering rack has arrived for the Hyundai i i20 so the steering racks arrived for the Hyundai i20 and my mechanic is going to be doing it this weekend coming up so hopefully that's going to get done in MOT so I've got to prep that for sale I also need to, I also need to now find another car to sell so to, in today's today's video we're going to obviously be researching for cars together um, I'm gonna be looking privately um, Facebook marketplace auto trader and gumtree So a big thank you to you guys thanks for 900 subscribers we're almost there guys we're almost to a thousand subscribers so if you're not subscribed hit subscribe help me get to a thousand subscribers and press the no post notification bell so you know when I drop my next video so yeah thank you guys for supporting the channel and watching I much appreciate it all right so guys I have just arrived at the unit I'm about to put the shutters up as you guys can see CGSJ Auto Sign. All right, guys, let's bloody unload the speaker in the car. Put it in the unit. All right, so guys, we're about to give this a try. Not a try, a start. It does this sometimes. Like the key doesn't work sometimes. If you look in the back seat, you can see that the steering rack is in there. Just gonna pull the car forward. and show you guys the steering rack. Yeah, that's enough space. All right, guys, I'll be back once I've taken the box out. All right, guys, here's the steering rack for the Hyundai. So that's been ordered. So you're gonna get that fitted, about to put it back in the box and go upstairs to the office to start researching for some cars. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie, I've been in the unit for a little while and it's absolutely freezing. There's no heating in here, so I'm just gonna do car research from home or just, just do it in my car, mate, because it's too cold. I was even gonna wash my car because it's got a load of salt on it from the road. But I'm just gonna go to the car instead, guys. It's actually so cold today. 
Oh my God. It's crazy and the shutter's about to go. Look at all that salt. It's full of salt, guys. Get in the warm car. Oh my. Put that heating right up. The cars. And at the moment, I'm looking at this Peugeot. Peugeot 207. Um, I'm going to do a BCA check. As I can see, only a headlight um, isn't working. So I'm going to copy and paste that gonna go into the MOT check the MOT history so it expires soon the 26th of January and the advisory was um, near side front tire worn close to legal limit and there was a marker for for the tire um, on the BCA check so that may have been changed so this is a car that I am thinking of buying, guys. Obviously, I'm going to have to put a fresh MAT on it, but I'm just looking through the photographs right now. Comment down below, tell me what you think. Um, as I've seen, it didn't really have any advisories in the last MOT. So, I'm just going through the photographs. Um, the bodywork ain't really too bad. The seats are definitely going to need a bit of a clean. Yeah, that, that seat's going to need a bit of a clean. Six to nine thousand miles on the clock. There and um, one thing I did notice: all of the um, armrest. If, if, if it, I thought, is it armrest? Is it an armrest? <clears throat> Got this bloody called. All of these are missing on that car. If you can see there, all of those are missing. So that's another thing I'm going to have to buy. But, but the seats, that's a minor there, and that little scratch at the back is also a minor. So, that's the only car that I've seen that's worth it for me, and the bid is going to be coming up very soon. So, that's my tracked cars, my BCA, market place as well. And all I just type in is just cheap cars for sale. So I see a course here, automatic for five hundred pounds. This picture, as you can see, this looks like a scam. Just, let's just view the profile. They've got loads of the same car posted for five hundred pound in different locations. They got one in London, Birmingham, um, Glasgow, Leeds, Bristol. Loads of the same car. I'm sure that's the exact same car. But just a different picture and look at that, that picture's absolutely terrible so i'm not even gonna bother to uh ask about that car anyway this ford fiesta so yeah that's the only thing about facebook guys it's like you gotta look out for all these scams and stuff and it, it's so annoying when you when you're looking at <clears throat> cars it's having to be looking out for scammers and stuff like that and also categorized cars so this ford fiesta already i don't really like the look of it it's got a ding there on the rear wing 11 months mot let's check the mo let's check the mot so advisors are on there so cv 59 b 80 so until the 18th of december offside suspension ball joint rear anti-roll bar Tire perish cracking. Um, a bit too many advisors for my liking. And bonnet vents. Means I'm gonna have to put a new bonnet on it. 194,000 miles on that right Ford Fiesta. Too much. Another Ford Fiesta for 700 pounds. Not bad. ST spoiler, full lever, head gasket is gone, okay, 
No point looking at that one. This Corsa bodywork's a bit too rough for my liking. Also, engine mounts on. And the car, the car drives fine, and the speedometer does not work. And if I check, obviously I'm, I'm not interested in this car, but I'm just going to check the MOT just to see. So, uh, SG57 ENC. It ends soon. And the car's got a load of flipping advisories, guys. A load of advisories. Look at all of those. Loads of advisories. So, I wouldn't have bought that one anyway. Um, let's also check if it's been categorized. This is something that I do anyway. Um, when you go into Auto Trader and you go to list the car, um, so let's see, the registration is. So, what I do is when you go on Auto Trader and you go to list the car, you can see that if the car's been categorized or not, because Auto Trader tells you that. So, you could just act like you're listing the car on Auto Trader. And it tells you if the car's been categorized or not. This is what I do anyway. So this registration is SG57 ENC. <coughs> okay, so there you go. The car's a cat D. As you can see, guys, the car is a cat D and the guy hasn't even said that in the description all he says the car drives fine only speedometer does not work so you have to be careful when you're buying when you're buying these cars guys but this car's battered mate really battered but that's how you can see um a good point that i do so you don't have to pay for any of those checks um i just literally act like i'm uploading the car to auto trader and it tells you if the car's a cat d if the car's categorized or anything like that so that's what i do anyway saves you from paying um paying out money so yeah that car's a no-no for sure scrolling down i mean when you look at it, these cars are probably 500 pounds for a reason 500 pound for automatic with we seen 21,000 miles definitely a scam all right so this car reduced from 2000 it was 2000 2300 pounds and it's been reduced to 775 pounds um cause a cat s not interested not interested in categorized this car has been for sale for ages so those people were in the comments at me saying oh my Corsa that I sold three days ago should have been a thousand pound or one thousand two hundred two hundred pound this car is worth that look at the damage there on the on the rear quarter on the rear panel look at that damage you could go buy that one for one thousand pounds mate <laughs> But yeah, just having a little scroll through Facebook Marketplace. Um, oh, this one of my, I think, is that this one of my trading friends' cars? I don't think so. Um, no, it's not. But that's quite a nice mini. So yeah, £325. Mileage is too high. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and help me get to a thousand subscribers. I'm almost there. So, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.